Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. And we're going to see what's coming up for you when it comes to love. What are the love messages for Virgo? Signs and synchronicities. Relationship. Addiction and between the lines. Hmm. Some of you may, if you've met someone new, why am I getting this? Let me just say it. it may not be the main story, but if you met someone new and they seem like addicted to just the idea of love, that could be a problem. I don't know why I'm getting that. But I'm getting the image of someone who I knew in the past who's just like addicted to love and very controlling. So some of you, um, if you've already seen that, then that's your message. But let's see what else. We have karma. Same thing, different day. Approved. Time to sign on the dotted line. Moving, purchase of a home, car, or business location. Loan granted, scholarship. Going back to school. These messages are so kind of like simple, but we do have shy, tongue-tied, nervous, doesn't know what to say, overthinks responses, double-check spelling, nail by intimid. Yeah, there's someone, for some of you, especially if it's, if it's a new person, they may just be like, I know this is not for everyone, but if you met someone who's like quiet and like, not that everyone who's quiet is like this, but kind of like a, I don't know how to explain. Okay. If they're like that, what I just read, and they seem kind of addicted to the idea of a relationship and love instead of actually forming one naturally, like they just want to skip to the love part, then it's kind of a red flag is what I'm seeing with read between the lines. But again, that's not for all of you. It's just kind of a warning that someone may turn out to be not what you think. So the person Virgo is currently thinking about. The person Virgo is currently thinking about what are the energies between these two? There's someone who is like upset with you and you're upset with them and letting them go who is this this could be a past person king of wands in reverse this is someone who both of you are, are upset with each other yeah and the mutual energy is two knights this person could reach out to you two nights <laughs> i don't know why i focus on that two nights and how it sounded like tonight but anyways <laughs> This person and you, for some of you, this could be a friend. I don't feel like that's for all of you, but there's something about you and somebody going head to head and just not being for each other. So either this friendship is not meant to work out or this past connection or current connection. Yeah, there's something that you're kind of done with. Some someone or some friendship or some person that you were with that you're kind of done with. You're kind of over it. You're just like, no. A lot of you are... This is so strange. I feel like it's going to unfold, but let me see something. What, why is this... Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. Why are the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, it's something about just kind of a war going on between you and someone and there's heartbreak involved this could be a friend who betrayed you but it could be a person you were dating or with clarify this person's energy tell me more about this person's energy this could be an ex right for some of you this could be an ex who tried to give you or yeah tried to give you a chance like maybe they thought that you were waiting for them and they decided to 
that they're going to give you a chance and then you are just like, no, I'm, I was not waiting for you. I'm not interested. Well, this is going to happen. They're going to be very, they're going to have a very bruised ego because you rejected them. And they kind of had this habit of wanting you to chase them or seeing themselves as a prize and that you would be lucky to be with them. But because you rejected them, they're actually like very offended and angry at you. There's something to do with anger and pain in this part of the read. So let me move on to the main spread. Let's see what else is happening in Virgo because this reading is very different. What are the love predictions for Virgo? Why is coming up for Virgo when it comes to love? Near future predictions. Yeah, your focus on stability. Four of Wands. And there's someone that you're rejecting because they kind of mess up that stability, that feeling of peace. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse again as the mutual energy. Some of you, this person could have been two timing. That's why you're like not wanting them back. A lot of you are heading towards some type of commitment, especially with signing on the dotted line. Because I keep, I'm like trying to look for the new love in this. Like, I'm trying to look for the positive that's going to happen for you. It could be that you're going into a commitment. Some of you have met someone already, or you're soon to meet someone that you're going to want to commit to with a hierophant or you're just doing the right thing by you but i see this person they actually are still trying to come back to you with the eight of cups in reverse this person i feel like they can't figure out why you won't take them back why you don't want them <laughs> why you keep rejecting them I feel like they were really under the impression that you were waiting for them, that you would be happy to take them back. And it's like, it didn't go the way they expected or it's not gonna go the way they expected. And again, some of you, they're two timing. Some of you could know that this person moved on, but you see them still trying to get with you and you're like, what, the, what are you doing? Basically, they could be a Leo. Um, but they see you as a son in reverse. You see them as someone you're healing from. And they're still trying to come forward. But they're coming back with the same thing on a different day. And they're kind of getting their karma. Clarify this 10 of 10. Clarify this 6 of Pentacles, please. Look at that. The Queen of Wands. I mean, I expected her to come out in reverse. Because that's the energy that's going on here. This person's going to be bad mouthing you behind your back or. Telling people a different story. Could be a spouse. You could still be married to this person or you're getting, or you're leaving them. If you're married to a new person, they could be gossiping about that, but something about gossip. Clarify the eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, seven of swords. This person won't get over the fact that someone may have taken you away from them or you just took yourself away from them. You moved on. They can't get over that part. They keep trying to take away from your positive success story of empowering yourself. You see how he's like looking like you're moving on. But he's like looking back and constantly trying to nitpick. So your ex could be trying to nitpick your life and act like downplay how much you've grown since you've left them because that would that kind of confirms that you're better off without them and they're trying to change that narrative to people because they know that it's making them look bad verify the ace of pentacles in reverse please sorry about the noise upstairs could be dealing with a sagittarius some of you or a Taurus, Leo, a lot of Leo, a lot of Leo energy. 
but this person you're getting over this You've already made peace with this person in your mind and you, in your emotions. So you're not really looking to get an apology from them. You're kind of just focusing on becoming emotionally stable, making sure that you maintain your peace and stability. Clarify the three of swords in reverse. A lot of you have a whole new chapter. You're definitely going within and healing. Some of you, this person could be MIA. Also, I'm getting that some of you, this person has you under the impression that that they are happy in a new relationship or they've moved on. They could actually be, qu be quite lonely. They could actually be lying about what they claim to have going on. Because all I see over here is someone who's more focused on you than anything. <laughs> more focusing on the fact that you're moving on and moving towards peace than anything. They're not even looking where they're going. Verify the, the Knight of Swords, please. A lot of you are making great shifts, like moving quickly into a future that you want. This person's shocked at how fast you're like healing and moving forward because they're kind of stuck on the past and they're kind of burdened by the past. They may have thought you would be in this energy as well. Why the Four of Swords in reverse? Could be a Scorpio again with the Leo energy. Person could definitely have Leo in their chart. That would explain the ego. But your move, look at this. This is your outcome. So you're getting up and doing things for yourself. The sun is coming out for you, you're balancing yourself emotionally and transforming very quickly. This person can't like understand that. Like how? How are you doing this? Why are they viewing Virgo as the sun in reverse? Look at how they're viewing you. You're taking this leap towards stability. You do have the four of wands here. You're taking this leap towards stability. But they're still trying to downplay it with the sun in reverse. You know that you are the sun in upright. But they're trying to downplay it. But this is the energy that you're in. Quite happy, quite stable. Or definitely get in there. What are the love messages for Virgo? They adore you. Unexpected. I like, ooh. But open up. Some of you maybe may have met someone, but you're hesitant to open up because of the way that that card came out was aggressive. It's like, <laughs> like the universe telling you to give someone a chance. I don't know. Let go of control. So that's what you're doing, but that's what this person, your ex fails to do. Because they're still trying to control you. They're wondering why they don't have control over you anymore. It could be the past person who's kind of addicted to the idea of love and kind of gave you a facade of a relationship in the past. What do we have for Virgo? There will be a return. I feel like this person just doesn't give in. It still hurts. So some of you are still healing from this situation. Inconsistencies. You're realizing this person's inconsistencies. Lessons are being taught. So learning from the whole situation. What's the advice for Virgo? Replan is needed. They're probably not. Put down your burden and reconcile. This person wants to reconcile. Some of you are probably not wanting to because you do want to put down the burden. 
You do have this Ten of Wands energy. Trying to really release the past. But when it comes to reconciliation, I see this person consistently like, it's like they keep trying to offer you love in this energy of Virgo wants me, Virgo needs me, Virgo is addicted to me type of thing. Like they just feel like, why are you not accepting the offer? Why are you playing hard to get type of thing? Like they're gonna keep trying because they strongly believe that that they can have you back. It's just their ego saying that they can have you back. But this Queen of Wands in reverse is not it. It's like this is someone gossiping, hating even. And then what's with the Six of Pentacles? When it comes to Six of Pentacles and the feelings, this is someone who just, like I've been saying, feels like you have feelings for them. So that makes them feel powerful. Even if you don't, they just think you do still. Even if you've gotten over them or you just focus on getting over them. They feel like Virgo has feelings for me. All I have to do is come in and give them breadcrumbs and they'll accept me. They may even be gossiping and telling people this to make you look inferior to them. It's just kind of weird. And because they, they're stuck in that mindset, they don't understand how it is that you actually don't need to accept their offer. And you may have someone coming in unexpectedly who really adores you, who's just really worth your energy and you've attracted this person in by just letting go. So Virgo, this is what I'm seeing for you. Definitely don't give up on yourself and your journey because it's definitely going to pay off or is paying off for some of you already. We got, um, there's um, Leo energy, very strongly. Strong, strong Leo energy. <laughs> the sun is here a lot. But we have Scorpio, Virgo, Sagittarius, Taurus. Those are the strong, those are the strong signs as well. So I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is happening. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.